I think you'll love this book, especially if you have mental math anxiety or a fear of numbers. But even if you don't, I still think you'll like it. It will teach you how to calculate almost anything in your head in seconds, certainly faster than it would take you to put it into a calculator. Could you calculate either of these in under 10 seconds? I guarantee by the end of the video you will be able to, and in fact we'll have a little test where you can prove to yourself that that's the case, so we'll do that at the end of the video. So I want to share the book with you, I'm going to show you what I like about it, what you'll get from it, I'll share some of the methods as well. Now I know what you're thinking, you're either thinking this is all total nonsense and these methods won't work at all, how dare you, I wouldn't do that to you, or you're thinking they might work for some people but they won't work for me because my brain just doesn't do numbers very well. I'm going to prove to you that that's not true, but first let's take a closer look at the book. The book consists of 11 chapters. The last chapter is chapter infinity and the first one is chapter zero, which is a nice touch. There's also two forewords, one by Bill Nye, no not that one, the other by the late James Randi, and if you haven't heard of him you should look him up because he was a really interesting man. And they set the tone of the book really well. Chapter zero will teach you some quick tricks like multiplying by 11 and squaring numbers that end in five. But hold on a second because you probably already know how to multiply by 11 and square numbers that end in five. But this is a different method, one you probably don't know, and it works incredibly well. So why weren't we taught this in school? I'm looking at you, Mr. Beckett. What's the square root of 4,761? It's 69. Or what about 79,838 by 45,547? Well, the answer is 3,636,381,000. 386. Okay, what about this one? What's 5 plus 3? Just checking you're paying attention. So the book will teach you how to do 5 by 5 multiplication just about in your head if you're really serious about doing that. And other things too, like calculating the day of the week from the date. It's a fun way of seeing what's possible, what you can calculate in your head if you put some time and effort into it and have the right methods. The chances are you probably won't make it to the five digit multiplication in your head. That's pretty hardcore and quite difficult even with these methods. But however far you make it, assuming you make it through the first chapter, you will definitely improve your ability to do mental maths. And especially if you're a number phobe, I think it could cure you of that. Uh, so I think you'll really love it. Now I, I promised I'd share two of the methods with you, they are coming up, but before I do I just want to tell you that the author is actually a professor of maths, so this isn't written by someone that doesn't know their stuff. He's a professor of maths and also he's a mathematician. He does live shows where he gets people up on stage, gives them a calculator and challenges them to answer questions more quickly than he can. His name's Arthur Benjamin and even if you don't buy the book it's definitely worth watching his TED talk uh, which I've linked to in the description. So to multiply a two digit number by 11 you just add the two digits together, so in this example 5 plus 4 is 9, and then you take the result of that, the 9, and you put it between the 5 and the 4. So 54 times 11 is 594. Sometimes the digits will add up to more than 9. When that happens you just add 1 to the first digit. So for example 68 times 11. Well 6 plus 8 is 14, so you take the 4 and you put it between the two digits, but because it's more than 9 you add 1 to the 6, so that becomes 748. So what about squaring a two digit number that ends in 5? Well that's quite straightforward as well. So you take the first digit of that two digit number and you multiply it by the next higher digit. So if it was 55 for example, you would say 5 because that's the first digit of 55 multiplied by the next digit up, the next higher digit, which is 6. So you say 5 times 6, but actually it's 50 times 60. So 5 times 6 is 30, but because we're saying 50 times 60, that's actually 3000, and then you just add 25, which is 3025. Let's try another one, let's try 65. Well you take the first digit of 65, which is 6, you multiply it by the next higher digit, which is 7, so you say 6 times 7, that's 42, but it's actually 60 times 70, so that's 4200, and you add 25, and that's 4225. It works with any two digit number ending in 5. Right, it's your turn now, now you know the methods. 53 times 11, and 35 squared. I'm going to flash the answer up on the screen really quickly, and you can see whether you get it right. The book's great because it is packed full of learning hacks, which is what makes it so useful. And if you like optimizing your learning, then you'll love Brilliant.org, the sponsor of this video. Let me show you why. Brilliant is where you can learn math, data analysis, coding, and AI, 
But there's a slight twist because with Brilliant's interactive lessons, you're solving problems from the start. You learn by doing, and Brilliant's expertly crafted lessons are designed to make you think deeply about a topic so that you quickly build insight and understanding. It's the most effective way of learning. It's actually six times more effective than passive learning, like watching videos. Brilliant has thousands of lessons, so there's always something new to learn. The learn by doing approach also improves your critical thinking skills and problem solving. So by learning a little every day with Brilliant, you'll be a better thinker, as well as building knowledge and expertise. LLMs are everywhere now, but do you know how they work? You will after taking the How LLMs Work course. You'll get hands-on experience working with real language models. You'll see how they build vocabulary and pick the next word. Training data is absolutely fundamental, and you'll see why by comparing models trained on Taylor Swift lyrics to models trained on a cookbook or big text terms and conditions. To see how far you can go with Brilliant and try everything they have to offer free for 30 days, go to brilliant.org forward slash Python programmer, or just click on the link in the description or just scan the QR code and you'll get 20% off Brilliant's annual premium subscription.